February 26, Tuesday of the seventh week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee, but he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him, and three days after his death, he will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent. They had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord Afraid to question him With difficulty, Jesus instills in his disciples that despite the signs he performs and the kingdom values he teaches, his destiny will ultimately be Calvary. Though he has shown them how to live in poverty and humility, the disciples still fall into the trap of competing for positions of greatness among themselves. Exasperated at their failure to understand, Jesus calls before them a little child whose attitudes and attributes should remind them of who is considered greatest in the kingdom of heaven. When we are used to reckoning things the way most people do, we find it difficult to see otherwise. We become hard-headed, stubborn, and difficult to teach. Do we see greatness in being least or in childlike humility and docility? Or do we see greatness in terms of achievements and awards, wealth and fame?